Hey everybody, I didn't really want to make um, this video. I didn't want to. Um, I've slept on this. It's been two days and I was going to mention something in this week's episode that comes out Thursday, but um, I decided that I needed to separate that from, from the show. Um, I, I wanted to let it go. I didn't want to say anything. But I'm tired of having things taken from me and I'm not given the credit I deserve. Uh, so I am, I guess I'm referring to Spin Magazine at this point. Um, they posted this article about the Sunny Day Real Estate Reunion Tour and they said a source close to the situation. The only place that anyone mentioned anything about that tour was on the Ron Perti show. And it was such a throwaway line. Sure, if you knew the situation and you knew William Goldsmith and you know Sunny Day Real Estate and you understood as we were speaking in fucking code, then yeah, you'd understand that there might be something in the works. But not only did you rip me off, you didn't credit me. All you would have had to say is, Goldsmith appeared on the Ron Perti show and said this. That's all you would have had to do. But you don't pay any mind to a small podcaster from Wisconsin. Do you? And I've tried to not worry about this. I've tried to just ignore it and let it go, but I can't. When I see other publications pick it up and, and quote you as their source, a tree is only as strong as its roots. And the story that is going out has some horribly decayed roots. I just want everyone to know at the end of the day, he was on my show when he said something. He didn't make a grand announcement. He didn't say anything huge. It was an ass backward question, which got an ass backward response despite how amazing it was. It was a fun little back and forth between two people. And you can't even give me a little bit of credit. And I know there are people out there who are probably saying, look, you're just saying this because you want to drive hits to your show. You know, if that had happened, great. But I wouldn't expect, I wouldn't expect Spin Magazine, of all places, listing the Ron Perti show would drive any hits towards me. At all. Credit where credit is due. Credit where credit is due. My episode came out on January 20th. The articles weren't, didn't start coming out till the 24th. That's plenty of time for someone to have heard it and source close to the situation it. I'm just tired of having things taken from me and not getting the credit I deserve. That's all I want is the credit I deserve. And none of this would have had to happen if you had credited me in the article and said, we heard, heard the, the Ron Perti show. We heard this and that and boom, none of it would have happened. I wouldn't have to make this video. I wouldn't have to have to, to stop dealing with whatever I'm dealing with in my personal life to come on here to set the record straight. 
So please, everyone, I'll play the clip at the end of this video so you can hear it. Okay, I'll play it at the end. But if you want to hear it for yourself, listen to the newest episode, episode 250 of the Ron Perti Show with William Goldsmith around the 21 minute mark. Okay. Go check that out. Because I am tired of doing things and having them taken away from me and no one giving me any credit for it. And I just had to say something. I was tired of seeing more and more and more articles come out based on what Spin Magazine wrote. What they took from me. And that's all I wanted to say. Here's here's the clip. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. So, yeah. Well, okay, so I'm going to add, I'm gonna, I got a, here's a two-part question. Uh, first part is, um, I'm going to ask this in a very weird way. Um, am I going to be able to buy a home from Sunny Day Real Estate in the future at all? I think some houses are going to be going up on the market in spring. There you have it, folks.